Here today on the reef again, seeing what's around. We've got Jay on the boat. Hey guys. Does. And we got mates on a boat just there as well. Bit slow to start, just got one lipper. That was the first drop. Second drop's on the way down. So there we go. Nanny guy. Nice little fella. Back this time. Cattlefish. Yeah. Another nanny? Yeah. Got nothing to see, Shark must have dismissed him and got your sinker. Yeah, man. Because that's getting shorter and shorter now. Yeah. 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 Might as well get another cuttlefish out and cut it out, I reckon. Yeah. Oh! Way up. Way up. It's gonna be a monkey or something, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Another trout. Yep. Nice 
nice little coral trout for the esky. I think it's half a fish now. Yep. Caught up half a fish. Big shark just had a feed. Got this dude. Nice trouty. Nice near the net. Hey, fuck. Fuck yeah. Nice work. Just come back to one of our artesian wonky holes. We've got a couple of nanny, one big one. Nice. Straight away. Beautiful. That's a fully loaded esky. We're just about to head home and fill it all these up, wash the boat, and I'll do a cook up, do some nanny guy. Thanks for coming. Just got back in. Good thing we got in back came back in when we did because the weather's just picked up. It's starting to get a bit windy. It was actually getting a little bit choppy as we came back in towards the land. Uh, I've cleaned the boat up, put all the fishing gear away, and now I'm going to fill it all the fish, get them in the fridge. I'm just about to fill up this largemouth nanny guy. Shows how I do that, and then I'll cook it up for dinner and shows how I do that too. All right, let's get to it. All right, so first things first. Make sure you cut it on an angle up towards the head. When you do it, always watch these right around here. There's got some pretty much razor blades, especially in there. The large mouth nanny guys have got some of the worst ones too. I've been cut a couple of times. So be careful of that. Clean on an angle. And again, down the spine as close as you can get to the backbone. And then just scraping away all that flesh off the skeleton try and get as much as you can if you do like especially when you're starting out if you do leave a bit of flesh on the skeleton don't worry you can always grab a spoon and scrape it all off with a spoon put it in a bowl and make fish cakes out of it i'll actually do a i'll do a fish cake recipe on one of the episodes coming up and show you how i do more
And then I'll take the skin off, back to my flexi knife. Slippery. And then just take that raw pin bones out. There you have it. A couple of nice fillets. You can take that off if you want or you can leave it on, but some people don't like it. Meet you in the kitchen. All right, welcome to the kitchen. I'm just about to cook up some of this largemouth nanny guy that we caught and filleted earlier. Just gonna keep that pretty simple, bit of salt, bit of pepper, bit of olive oil, fry it in a fry pan. And we're gonna have with it a uh, light stir fry, bit of onion, bit of zucchini, bit of okra from the garden, some broccoli, and some Brussels sprouts. Got some ginger and some garlic there. Gonna use a bit of light, so a bit of tamari actually. A little bit of fish sauce and some chili and sesame oil. To keep it simple. A little bit of sea salt flakes on the fish. Throw that onion into that pan. A little bit of a mix around, get that sesame oil. A little bit of salt in there as well to help bring the flavour of the onion out. We're going to put a bit of seasoning on this. Other side of the fish too. Chuck the okra in and the Brussels sprouts at the same time. Put a little bit of a mix. And I like that ginger in there. And a bit of garlic. Give that a good stir. A bit of chili oil. Fish sauce. Good work of that. Just going to throw the rest of the veggies in now. A little bit of water to deglaze the pan actually. It's getting a bit stuck to the bottom, but water will help deglaze it and bring that flavour up. A little bit. Give that fish a flip over. Finish that off with a little bit of tamari.
There we go. I'll try that. A bit of fish for a stir fry. Mmm. That's amazing. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go eat this. I'll see you next time.